whole world changed one day when all these random cards started raining down everywhere. At first, they seemed harmless enough, so a bunch of us kids invented this cool new game. That's when we realized those cards weren't so harmless after all. They were packed with incredible powers from another world. My name is Dan, and together with my friends Bruno, Marucho, Julie, not to mention Mr. Hotshot himself, Shun, and Alice, we are the, the Bakugan, Bakugan Battle Brawlers! Bakugan, one goal, two worlds! What are you gonna do? The odds are stacked against you. Back against the wall, gotta give it your all. This is the final stand. The power's in your hands. Two worlds collide on the inside. You gotta fight for what's right before it's gone. Sausages? <laughs> yeah, so pretend you have real manners. Oh. <laughs> morning, Richa. Oh, good morning, Rudo. You know, I've been thinking. Remember that worldwide data we saw? It showed Hydronoid was dangerously close to becoming the ultimate Bakugan. But that's... Masquerade's Bakugan. The Infinity Core needs to fuse with an ultimate Bakugan. So we gotta up our game and build one fast, before they beat us to it. Can I have some of that? We have to stop Masquerade from getting to the Infinity Core. Or else Naga will get his hands on both the Infinity and the Silent Core. Putting Vestroya and the human world into jeopardy. We must act swiftly. Drago's right. All we've been doing is shredding tread. We need action. And I say we make Drago our ultimate Bakugan. Well, as long as we all agree. Agree? We'll ditch this tea party and get some real action. And I know just the place to get the brawl rolling. Masquerade's European lair. Yes. We'll take it by storm. That's if Marucho can pinpoint a location. Dan? Uh, no. If Masquerade doesn't get taken out soon, it could be the end for all of us. I... I can't remember. Marucho, you've got to remember. Come on, snap out of it. Dan? I'm... I'm sorry, but I can't deal with this right now. But... Marucho, come back! Leave him alone. I think he's gone through enough without you harassing him like a criminal. He just lost his best friend, Preyas. What do you expect? Oh, come on! He's got to man up and move on. Masquerade's destroying Bakugan as we speak. It's a tough break, but we're on a mission, so he'll just have to get over it. Nice attitude. Geez, why don't you get over it and cut him some slack? Because we're not running a daycare, so maybe we'll just roll without him. How can you even think of blowing him off at a time like this? Maybe Marucho should stay behind. Huh? What? what? I know he'll pull through. He always does. But right now isn't the time to wait for him to come around. We have to move on. Julie? You don't understand. Billy was my 
my best friend forever. Growing up, he was always there for me. So I've got to be there for him now that he's under Masquerade's control. I can't just sit around here waiting for things to happen when I know there's something I can do. Marucho's friend may be lost, but there's still a chance we can save Billy. So I say we leave without him. You? You're there for your friend? What about Marucho? <gasps> Bruno! Spare me your lame excuses. You've made your choice. Now go! Fine, because I have had enough of your melodrama. Come on, let's go, Julie. <laughs> Wait, come back here. Dan! <sighs> Shun, go and get him. It's your responsibility as a brawler. Oh, she makes me so mad I could just yell! Huh? <laughs> Not you, too. <laughs> you got some makeup stuff that's running down your face? Here's a hanky. No, no, take it. I won't want it back. Hey, trust me. I am so frustrated! I don't know where we're going, or even where we are! Oh! <laughs> Jeez, what is this? When petting zoos attack? <laughs> wow, look what we found. Your sense of humor. I know, and your silly reaction has given me an idea. I think I know where we can look for Billy. Uh, exactly how? Oh, uh, you'll see. Dan gets me so frustrated when he goes totally alpha dog on us. Ugh, why do I even care? And that Julie chasing after him like a lost puppy following him everywhere? Look, I know you're upset, but don't you think you're being a little hard on them? I mean, really, all that Julie wants is to get her friend back from Masquerade. I know, because I felt the same way when it happened to Grandpa and me. So I understand what Julie's going through. Trust me, it's hard. Yeah? Well, maybe seeing your friends take sides is harder! Bruno, I'm sorry. I, I think I'll go check on Marucho. I can't believe this. We should... We should be coming together to help Marucho, not be fighting over it. I mean, if I... if I lost Tigrera, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. My dear. Now tell me something. Didn't Daniel once lose his temper and ended up throwing Drago into the river? Huh? I'm just saying that Dan already knows what it's like to have lost his own personal Bakugan. Huh? Hmm, perhaps I give him too much credit because losing it temporarily and losing it forever are two very different things. Hmm. You actually said to Billy that Germany is beside Australia? Uh-huh, and your shock looks so reminded me of his. Hey, Julie, if you could be anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? Um, Japan, I think. Good call. What about you, Billy? Me? I'd pick Germany. That's when he mentioned the soccer field, where he could catch a cool game. He always wanted to come here. I'm surprised I could remember the place. I'm surprised you remembered, too. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Always on top of your game, aren't you? Oh, you asked for it. Wait, look, you may have been best buds at one time, but this ain't one of those times. And being ranked number 10, he's out of your league. Sorry, Daniel, but I'm taking him down solo. Are you what? Oh, please. You think you know everything, but you don't when it comes to winning people over. This requires a slightly different tactic. Masquerade may have a grip on Billy, but I'm going to loosen it one thumb at a time. Uh-huh. Field open! <laughs> Activate! Attract door, activate! 
here it comes! And there it goes, circling the drain! Looks like you fell for my sand trap! What the? Not quite! Centipoid leading. Snake card! Open! Magma card! Simple! He just smoked a back of gun and two cards in one totally killer move! You gotta love that Magma Fuse card. I like how it wipes out all the other cards after a fresh battle, leaving a clean scent behind. You should clean up your own act, cause you've been fighting dirty! Ha! Huh. Well, you don't make it into the top ten by playing nice. Playing nice? More like you were playing Masquerade Sucker instead! So what? Now my game's shooting right off the Richter scale. And you're completely off your rocker! I want the old Billy back! And we'll be back in a flash! You heard me! Let's partay! Yeah. Oh, Tuscar! <laughs> Looks like you'll have to forget about him. <laughs> oh. Gate card set! Back on! Centipoid, stand! Centipoid at 750Gs. This means I've only got one left! Gorham, you're my only hope! Then let's show them how it's done. Game on! Game card, set! Bakugan power level up by one zero zero G's. Ugh! Boyd! Don't wimp out early! Centipoid yeah. down five zero G's. Centipoid three six zero G's. Quorum five three zero G's. Smiling? Didn't he just blow a game? Unless this is some sort of a setup. Go! Shake him down, Rattaloid! <laughs> Bakugan! Gorum, <laughs> attack! Gorum, Rattaloid 310, Gorum 380. Ability card activate! Poison Fang! <laughs> Rattaloid up 50 G's, Gorum down 50. <laughs> up the G-Force by 50 for every card you have on the field. So if she already has two cards, then she really did double down her 50 to make 100. Four up, 100 zero, zero Gs. So how do you like getting your hands dirty under Earth Attribute? Just one Bakugan left. So how about we finally settle this, all or nothing? You game? No way! Don't fall for it, Julie! It looks like a trap! Okay, then bring on your worst! With pleasure. Final! 
Final shot! Back is on! Oh. Ability card activate! Copycat! Ability card activate! Mega impact! Say what? Gora, I admire your specialty! Mind if I take it? That was real slick keeping his copycat card on the DL. Of course. That's why he sacrificed Centerpoint to copy the previous ability of Mega Impact. Why so shocked? You were the one whining about an equal playing field. down 5-0 G's. What? <laughs> Seems Rattaloid has left behind a little parting gift. The Poison Fang's starting to kick in. Poison Fang? <laughs> oh no! It's taking over! This could be fatal. <laughs> Julie, you must leave now. No! We're in this together, big guy. We're gonna stand our ground and fight to the very end. But Julie... One more blow and I'm finished. And you know what that means. Come on, what are you waiting for? Do it already, Cycloid! Are you sure? Uh, cuz I'd be sending him straight into the Doom Dimension accompanied by that foolish humanoid! <laughs> I know she's just bluffing. She wouldn't have the guts to pull off something like that. <laughs> hey, Julie! Why don't you drop the Bravery Act and get off so we can end this fight properly? No! I don't care what you say! I'm gonna stay right here with Gorum! I mean it! Huh? So, go on! Send me into the Doom Dimension if you think winning is so important! Why won't she give up? It's over! She's testing him. Finding out if the Billy she once knew still exists. Forcing him to choose between triumph and defeat. Because the real Billy would sacrifice victory over harming a friend. Yeah, but this ain't no after-school special. Seriously, what happens if he gives the word to attack? If that happens, then Julie will be banished to the Doom Dimension for all eternity. You mean, like, forever? And ever. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Masquerade! Go on, finish what you started. If you defeat her, I'll move you up a notch to ninth place. No way! Do you mean it? Yes. <laughs> That'll shut them up. They won't be calling me double digits anymore. Go on, Cycloid. Finish them off. Count me in! Can't hold out much longer. Billy, do you remember that toy? You gave it to me when we were in kindergarten. <sighs> it's for you. Wow, that's so nice of you. Keep this up, and I can tell you and I will become the greatest of friends. Yeah.
you can find it in your heart somewhere to forgive me? I know I was being like a total jerk and everything, but I was so focused on winning and raising my rank that I didn't even see what I was about to lose. So don't be mad at me. No problem. I can't stay mad at anyone. Except Masquerade. You're the one destroying the game! <laughs> but you don't even lift a finger! You just send in other Bakugan players to do your dirty work! She's right! I've never seen this poser in battle! So what are you afraid of, slacker? <laughs> Coming up on Bakugan Battle Brawlers. The sky is the limit, but our gang is heading in for a crash landing. Frustration mounts as everyone is getting on each other's nerves, especially Shuns, who left over a heated battle of words with Dan, saying he couldn't stand being fake friends any longer. Meanwhile, Kamba, a sore loser and former rival of Shuns, has a score to settle. Will Shun count on his friends, or is he about to go from hero to zero? Oh, Shun, don't you know there's safety in numbers? 